Hello, I've just updated my uh, push pull and group uh, plugin, and so since I've never done a proper video for it, I'm gonna go through it uh, now. Um, so what what it does is um, it can you can use it as a tool, which I have it set for uh, Shift E, or you can also activate it, uh, select a whole bunch of faces, and uh, right click it on the context menu. Uh, so as a tool, uh, you hover and it uh, automatically selects the faces. And all you gotta do is click and it automatically push pulls and groups it. That's a group right now. Um, if you hold the, the shift key, um, you can add to the selection. And as long as you don't uh, remove the cursor off the face, they're all still selected and you can click it. And uh, it'll push pull all of them. Um, if you want to change the thickness, it's default to a quarter of an inch. You can just type it in uh, to the VCB box right here. And uh, it's got to be um, decimal and it's got to be inch. Uh, it's very primitive, uh, the input for the, for the, in this plugin. So um, I'm sorry about the metric guys. You're going to just have to convert it. Um, Okay, so let's talk about uh, one of the things that I found uh, useful is you can uh, use it as a face picker if you're trying to uh, delete some internal faces. Although I have a plugin now that does it automatically, um, you can click the face and you can hit the delete key. So that's just uh, some bonus thing that. Um, Okay, let me delete this. Okay, um, you can if you right click on the mouse, you can toggle right here. You can see it toggle group and ungroup. Um, also, something new for this update is the left mouse, the left arrow key. You can also toggle, and I've added that uh, for a particular reason now. I'll explain that later. Uh, the extra key. Okay, so um, the control key uh, reverses the direction of the push pull. Now, why why would you want to do that? Because right now I've toggled it to not group, and the thing is, the right now you're seeing a back face. So normal, um, it's a, the normal is negative. So so when you push pull, it will go opposite. Uh, after you push pull it, it becomes a front face. So if I click this again, it will actually uh, reverse direction, actually disappear like that. Okay, I'll undo it. Now, so that's why the control key, uh, that that's the control keys had this function from the very beginning, but it reverses the direction. So for instance, if I wanted to add to this, I just just hit the control key, and I can just add to it. Or if I want to um, remove stuff from it. I can also, like if I wanted to, to just add to hmm, computer slowing down, I don't know why. Let me wait for it, okay. Oh, okay, it got toggled to group, so it grouped it somehow. Okay, well, that's what I want to show you. Okay, and I'll group this. And you can also you can always also use it to make um, when you're working editing inside the group, you can you can use it to to make through holes, or you can use it to make You just draw some rectangles. Okay, now you now you can use it. You can make uh, through holes. You can make. Okay, if I hold the control key, you can make tabs. If I don't hold it, you can make uh, make a slot of it. Now you notice it's not. Grouping, even though, 
even though if you look at the very bottom, it's it's toggled to group. Now there's some kind of bug in here which is actually fortunate for us. And so most of the time when we when we're working editing a group, we don't have to really think of uh, toggling group or, or ungroup. Now where it shows up, and normally you won't even notice it. Um, if you're doing a fresh uh, fresh part without any 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 tabs or slops in it, once you get to this stage, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure why, but for instance, if I if I um, try to uh, push pull that down by clicking on it, okay, as you can see, it just grouped it. Okay, now I don't know why all of a sudden it decides to group it, but normally it's after you you've put in your your slots and tabs and so for instance right here if I okay so that's also grouped it right there and the reason why I know it's grouped is because it's not selecting the face anymore so I can choose that so so normally if, if you're doing a fresh part and you're just tabbing and slotting it um, normally you don't even have, have to notice that but um, okay as you can see here now I can't I can't toggle because if I, if I right click it, I get a context menu. So I cannot toggle it. Um, what I can do is since I've added that new key, I can push the left arrow key. Uh, let's see. Oops. Uh, okay. I can push the left arrow key. You can see it's toggling down there now, even though I can't uh, use the right mouse key anymore. So that's why I added a new key f uh, for that. And like I said, generally I don't, I don't even bother with it, but I, I leave it in there for like, like the 10% of the cases where, where you might uh, get affected and, and you need to, to toggle it. Um, okay, so let me go to the context menu. Uh, I don't know if most people know that that's uh, even been added. Okay, so there's there's about a thousand blocks here, and one of the problems is you don't know if the computer's hanging or not if you do a large number of faces. So I've added uh, the progress bar uh, plugin. Uh, so this uses that plugin from uh, S Mustard, and if you have um, Make Faces installed, then you you already have that plugin. Um, but if not, you can download it from S Mustard. But what I'll do is I'll grab about 200 faces and I'll use the context menu right here and as you can see it says processing 217 faces and there's a progress bar right there so uh, I mean that wasn't too bad but if I did all 1000 um, you, you would sit there wondering well is it, is it hung or is it not hung so I think this is uh, one of the uh, best additions to this new update. Okay, well, that about covers it. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.